it's creek fishing time this is what i love to do and everybody knows you can go out in the country you're out in the uh, mountains maybe in the wilderness you find those little streams that are beautiful awesome and they're just fun to fish but actually a lot of the best fishing is right in the middle of town i'm right by side a busy highway in chattanooga I'm not gonna tell you exactly the creek because i don't know for sure if i'm supposed to be here but i'm in between a bunch of businesses and maybe some homeless uh, camps and stuff like that so i'm i'm on the lookout but this literally is some of the best fishing you can get some of these streams are just so full of fish and don't get a lot of pressure there used to be a trail that i came down um but i haven't been here at least a year and a half and the trail is totally gone had to make my way through the weeds and it was thick but now that i'm here dude this is a nice place you don't even realize these spots are here in the middle of town half the time this is gonna be fun i got some light action rod i got some little lures gonna be using i think i'm gonna catch a bunch of stuff today starting out with a little crawl from the trout magnet i think it's called trout slayer and i got a brand new rod today i had to buy it oh wow what a cast i'll go over my setup in a little bit let's catch a few fish and then we'll talk setups and we'll see what first we'll see what we catch oh there's a bass right there right in front of me oh i spooked him off i think i had a chance to catch a ton of fish today and there's one and a lot of these are probably going to be green sunfish this is a perfect green sunfish stream one we're going to count species too so that's one and about the third cast two next cast is that it is spotted sunfish that's funny how i catch them it's funny the creeks that i catch these at but i fish similar creeks that there's no spotted sunfish in so it's fun for me to catch them let's go back up in there oh yeah red breast three species and i think that was three casts did I tell you I was going to catch a bunch of fish today? <laughs> Come on, fish. You on there? Another spotted sunfish. Fish on, what we got? Creek chub, that's perfect. We're just getting everything today. That's wild. We have, I've already lost count of my, my species. Green sunfish, creek chub, spotted sunfish, red breast. All right, four, let's keep adding to that. Oh, yeah. Nice. There's our little bass. I just let it sit on the bottom. Oh, my. That's an awesome little bass. Yeah, I haven't left. This is a spot where I've walked in. I have not left yet. Was that five species? Chunky largemouth. Good, good. I was wondering if this little crawl was going to get those large mouth to bite. I knew they're in here. Uh, caught them before, but every time you come to creek, it's different than before. Another large mouth. Next cast. Littler one. Oh, he spit up something. He's been eating good. These fish have a lot of food in here. Little trout slayer is catching everything. Of course. There's no trout in this stream, it's too warm. Oh, 
Oh, I got a fish on, and I'm trying to fix my uh, phone, move it out of a different pocket. Is that going to be another one? It is. Bluegill. Nice bluegill. Bluegill, green sunfish. Spotted sunfish. Chub, largemouth. Boom. Fish on. What do we have? Green sunfish. Oh, they hit it right when it hit the water. Green sunfish. Living under the bridge. Oh, little bass right there. Oh, in the tree. All right. Look, look, look at me. See ya. I am normal. I cast in trees and get tangled up. I know I cut those out most of the time, but, but also I've gotten really good at just casting where I want to cast because I do this a ton. That makes a big difference. Oh, what is that? He came out and smoked it. Of course, the green sunfish. They hit so aggressively sometimes. Most of the time when they hit. Oh, okay. Some of these little spots like this, this is a little like, like a deeper area in the creek. And, oh, there we go, there we go. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was cool. It was so cool to see. That was a large mouth. I cast it over there. Saw him come over here and I just twitched it and he ate it. Well, had to eat that little craw. Like I was saying, um, these little streams, they they run into bigger, obviously run into bigger streams, run into bigger streams, but it's just the right size. Oh, I got a fish and a tree. Nope, came off. It's just the right size where it holds so much fish in a hole like this. Got um, maybe, let's see, I'm knee deep, so a foot and a half of water, maybe two feet deep at the deepest spots. There's brush and debris there could just be so many fish that live in here just hundreds and hundreds of different fish that live in these areas and there must be so much food for them to eat because they do well even little bass can get pretty good size in here there's a little bass right there some little fish little bitty ones now let's take a look this is we went to the deep spot now this is the size of the creek this is what's crazy. Like you can look at this creek and think there's no way there's fish in here. It's, it's shady and dark, but you should be able to see. It's, it's not even ankle deep. Like some of these spots are not even ankle deep. You think there's no way it could be full of fish. No way it could be fish that you could actually catch and have fun catching. And that all depends on the person, what you enjoy catching. But even I see sometimes I'll see a stream like this size and I'll drive over and I'll be like, nah, it's not worth checking out. But then take a look at this up here. So you might see a little spot like this, got a little bit of good flow, it's pretty clear. And then there's a deep section that's, you know, a foot to two foot deep, but so much water through here, all the way up uh, 7,500 yards maybe. And there could be some deep pockets and these little areas you don't know where the fish are there could be all kinds of different fish in there oh there there we are what is that that is a red breast that i actually hooked the in the mouth this time Oh, good fish. What is this? That's putting a little bend in this rod. <laughs> that feels fun. Oh, it's a nice red breast. Super nice. Colorful guy. I got it. I got one. 
Or did I snag him? Yes, long ear. We're checking off another species. The long ear in here are so colorful. Everything in these little clear strings seem to be more colorful. That's a little one. They have a, their mouth is not giant. Like, uh, it's more like a bluegill size where it's a little bit smaller, but they're really aggressive. They'll hit a lot of different lures. Oh yeah, that guy hammered it. Nice red breast. Another thing about strains that I've learned is that sometimes the different species, sometimes they're all together, but sometimes it'll be like, this section through here is red breast. This section through here is bass. This section through here is uh, something else. They do like to have their own, you know, little areas that they keep to. Ooh, what is that? I got smoked it. A large mouth. There might be some other bass. I wonder if there's like spots or small mouth in here. Doesn't, there might be spots. I don't know about small mouth. Could be, I mean, it definitely could be in here. A lot of these streams in the Chattanooga lower, like the lower, or just streams that are in the lower valley areas and not in the up north Tennessee or in the mountains areas, most of them don't have uh, a population of smallmouth in there. Oh, there's a nice little bass right beside me, but I got a fish on. Oh, it's a solid bluegill. You might see, oh, there's a nice little bass that just went by. You might see little glimpses of stuff, but um, as I'm walking through here, I am, every catch that I make, almost every, every step, I am seeing different types of fish, whether it's suckers, um, a lot of hog sucker, northern hog suckers I see. There's another fish. Hey, there's a little bass. I've seen some little bass swim by. I've seen a um, lot of different sunfish. A lot of them are real small that I'm like kind of spooking out. I just, there's just so much stuff in here. It's, it's, I say that a lot when I go to some of these places, but some of these places, it's just unreal how many different little fish there are. I feel like I've caught a fish on every cast, like the last 10 casts. That's a solid bluegill. Or is it a red ear? It's got a little bit of orange behind his gill. I don't know, that one actually may be a little bit mixed with something. I gotcha. Red breast, some of these red breasts are a little bit long and long and thinner looking. But look at the colors. Got like orange tips, got orange tips there. Ah. And then he wanted to go back, I guess. What, what do I have here? A tiny little green sunfish. He absolutely smoked that thing. Fishing doesn't have to be complicated and can be simple and can be really fun. And it doesn't have to be something if you don't want to go out for six, seven hours. How about, let's see how long we were out today. 35 minutes. It took me longer to get here than I, than I did fishing. And we're going to end the video right there because I just want to do a really quick, simple video. I want to test out this rod. So this is something new that a lot of people have been telling me to try. They make a lot of ultralight rods. They make bass rods. But they also make a lot of rods for like panfish and stuff. So I don't know why it took me so long to try it. But this is a TFO, Temple Fork. Um, Outfitters, I think it's what it's called, or outdoors, I can't remember. But this is a trout panfish rod, 6'6", light action, fast, um, real short handle. I've paired it with, uh, this is a Johnny Morris um, reel. This rod, this, this rod, they're $99. The reel was $99. I got six pound braid and it's, uh, it's called the J braid. Man, this stuff is so smooth feeling. I had some different braid on it and I changed this braid. I really love it. I can chuck this lure way up the creek and i got it's a 164 ounce jig head little trout slayer i believe that's what they're called and i just got about a six foot uh four pound mono just nothing expensive just some four pound mono this whole setup right here uh one little bag let me show you my bag real quick 
I just brought the real small bag and I didn't want to take a lot of lures. I only, I barely got anything in there, but I had these um, the little trout slayer kit and a little, little kit like this is, I haven't used them in a while, but I love trout magnets and these. And I figured these little crawls would get some of the bass to bite and it did. It actually got everything to bite. So a couple little things, maybe a, a pistol in there for being down here in urban areas, but I take one everywhere I go. I got a carry permit, so I'm gonna carry it anywhere it's legal. This creek that I'm in is a, it's a little creek. There's several, there's all kinds of creeks around here. You can, you can pick all kinds of places. This is right in between a bunch of businesses and parking lots. And um, the only people that really go through here most of the time are like homeless people. But there's, I mean, there's people that do come here and fish, I'm sure. But I'm not seeing any signs of any tracks, of anybody fishing, of anything. I basically got this whole little place to myself. Seven species in 35 minutes, one rod. I didn't even have to change the lure just a fun time so i uh I, i've been wanting to, i've been trying a lot of different lighter action stuff and ultra light to light i love the light stuff just because i feel like i have a little more power and this one the being six six um this this creek is pretty open it's hard to see with the camera but i mean there's, there's a lot of overhanging trees but i got enough room to cast it i don't have to have anything too small and with that six six with this braid with this setup i'm casting that thing up there 30 feet in front of me before those fish know i'm in there and they are just slamming it so Thanks so much. I'll leave some of the information if I have it in the video description. And uh, just one of those little videos I like to sometimes do. Wasn't sure how it was gonna go. It went perfectly. Um, boom, came here, caught fish. And now um, I can do whatever I wanna do. If I wanna go catch more fish, um, I can try different lures. I can leave if I, if I, you know, that satisfied my fishing for the day. So whatever I wanna do next, I can do next. But thanks so much for watching. Get out there and try some places. Be careful where you go. Get you some decent equipment. You don't have to. You don't even have to have stuff this expensive. That's two hundred dollars for this combo. You can get stuff that's twenty dollars and still catch fish. But it's a matter of just getting out there and putting a little effort into it. Thanks so much.